Hello, Sofia. Hello, Sofia. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Fine, and you? How are you doing? How's everything? Hey, very good. Did you go to work today? Yes. How was it? ¿Cómo estuvo el día? Ah, very, very warm. A lot of work. Sí. Yes. A lot of work. Okay. A lot of work. So you work from Monday to Friday or you work on weekends too? Uh, today. Uh, all days. <laughs> Every day. Every day. So you work from Monday to Sunday? Yes. That's difficult. It's tired. And what yes. do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Uh huh. What is your occupation? What do you do? Um, uh, I work. I work in, uh, in preschool. Oh, you work in a school? Sí. School uh, um, insure, uh, insure? Insurance. 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 In the iglesia. Yes. Ah, in the church. In the church, in missions. Oh, you get a lot of work to do. <laughs> yes. So you are a teacher. Uh, direct, direction, direction, direction. You're the principal. Usted yes. Es la directora. So you say, yes. I am the principal. I am the principal, yes. Interesting. That's nice. <laughs> I am psychologist, I mean. A psychologist. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. Nice. Mm, yeah, I see. You, <laughs> that's a lot of things. All right. Uh, what about you, Beatrice? How are you doing? Can me? How are you today? That's fine. And you? Fine. Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. Okay. Uh, what about you, Alejandro? How are you doing? Hey, very good. Okay. How was your day at work? Yes. It's, um, tired. It's, uh, it's all tired. No? Heavy. It's all heavy. Um, a heavy day at work. Okay. And uh, uh, have you been working in the platform? Yes. You completed, finished the platform. No. No, no finished. No finished. Okay. And the rest of you, Rocio, have you finished? No, todavía falta un poquito. Okay. And uh, Williams, how are you doing with the platform? Okay, so I think it didn't listen. Okay, it's important for you to complete the platform. Ya se nos está terminando el tiempo para tener todo listo. Eh, la plataforma tiene que estar completa. Eh, a más tardar el domingo 21 ¿no? y ya con ejercicios y documentación también tiene que estar al día ok ok well uh, yesterday we started to study what do you remember what was the topic yesterday's topic ¿Qué es lo que empezamos a estudiar ayer? ¿Se recuerda? Presente continuo. Presente continuo. ¿Qué decíamos del presente continuo? ¿Qué recuerdan? ¿Qué do you remember? De la regla. Um, no. Ok, las la regla. reglas. El, el, las confusiones, el gerundio, ING. Ok, se agrega ING y ¿qué más? 
¿Qué más aparte del ING o ING? A la que se le agrega una consonante más o, o se le cambia la I por la Y. La forma okay. de preguntar en gerundio. Las reglas la de spelling, de letreo, ajá. Ok, let's continue with that topic. Para continuar con ese tema, tengo acá una presentación que vamos a compartir y a ver así. Ok, the present continuous is basically, these are present continuous. We use it to talk about actions that are happening at the moment, now. Actions happening today in this moment, right? That's the press continuous for. And this is the formula to make affirmative statements. We have subject. Siempre tiene que ir una forma del verbo to be. Es decir, am, is, are. Luego el verbo principal agregándole ing a, la, a, a todos, right? Con ciertos cambios. Eliminando la E y todas las reglas que ya vimos. Ok. Point. Ok. Aquí podemos ver cómo se aplica la forma para oraciones afirmativas. Right? For example, this one. I am reading. I am reading. Yo estoy leyendo. So, se fijan, el sujeto es I. El verbo to be que le acompaña, am. En el caso de I se usa am. Um. Verbo, el verbo es leer, read, para hacerlo continuo o gerundio ing, I am reading. He, podemos usar el pronombre personal o el nombre de la persona, Bart is playing the guitar. Bart is playing the guitar. Maggie is walking. Bart and Skinner are running. Ok, eso decíamos para hacer oraciones afirmativas. Las spelling rules también son las que ya estudiamos. Esto es solo como para hacer un repaso. Uh, verbs ending in E, cuando el verbo termina en E, vamos a remover o a quitar la letra E y agregar el ING. Por ejemplo, dance, dancing. Ride, el verbo montar, ride, se fijan que le hemos quitado la E también y le agregamos ING para hacer riding. Right, riding. Con una sílaba terminando en vocal, consonante, double the last consonant and add ING. For example, sit, sitting, run, running, swim, swimming. Okay? Si son de una sílaba, terminan en consonante, vocal y consonante, y lleva estrés, o sea que si suena con fuerza al pronunciarlo, se le duplica la última consonante y se agrega el ING, que eso era lo que ya habíamos visto. Para hacer oraciones negativas, ¿qué dijimos que se hace? Para negativas. De contrato. Voy a contratar. Hay que agregar algo ahí. El not. El not. Ajá. Para hacer oraciones negativas, acá tenemos esta hojita en la que vamos a poner en práctica. Ayer medio explicamos, medio practicamos. Ahora vamos a practicar un poquito más. Ok, para hacer oraciones negativas solo agregamos el not. Después del verbo to be, am, um, is, are. Ok, for example, I am not cooking. No estoy cocinando, yo no estoy cocinando. I am not cooking. She is not cooking. It is not cooking. We are not cooking and they are not cooking. Hasta ahí estudiamos ayer, hasta donde estábamos con las oraciones afirmativas y negativas, ¿verdad? Ahora vamos a ver las yes no questions. Para las yes no questions vamos a seguir este patrón. Primero vamos a escribir el verbo to be, quiere decir am, is, are, va a ir al principio. Luego el sujeto, en este caso si el sujeto es I, vamos a poner am primero. Si es you, vamos a poner el are primero. Para he, she, it, vamos a poner is. 
al principio. Then we they are. Luego el verbo con ing y probablemente complemento o solo el signo de pregunta después del verbo. Okay. So in this case we can ask. Let's see. Am I cooking? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you cooking? No, I am. Okay. Well, in this case, um, si yo les pregunto a ustedes, am I cooking? ¿Qué responderían? Si yo les pregunto, am I cooking? ¿Estoy yo cocinando? No. Yes, I am. No. 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 Yes, I am cooking. Okay. If the question is, am I cooking? ¿Estoy yo cocinando? No. No. You are not. You are not. Oh, you no, aren't. you are not. Uh -huh. De cualquier forma, okay. o completo, o contractado. No, you are not. Oh, no, you aren't. Porque no estoy cocinando. Entonces usted me dice, no, tú no estás cocinando. No, you are not cooking. Okay. Okay. Well, are you... Que me llenaste, ve. Are you cooking? No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. No, I am not. Usted no, yo no. Si usted responde, no, yo no. No, I am not. Okay. Um, are you studying? Yes. Yes, yes. I am. Yes, I okay. am. Okay. Are you practicing English? No. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> are you completing the exercise on the platform? Tampoco. No. Yes, no, yes, yes, it is. Okay, yes I am or no I am not. Okay, esto es para, um, neither. More neither. or less. More or less, okay, ahí van. Okay, aquí van a completar, lo que van a hacer es completar en el ejercicio. En las preguntas siempre se va a incluir el verbo to be, si es yes I am o no I am not. Yes, you are, o no, you are not. Siempre van a ir haciendo ese juego de el verbo to be. Okay, now let's fill in the blank to complete the sentences. Okay, si ven acá, por ejemplo, en la número uno dice, we watch TV. No tiene signo de pregunta, no hay ninguna negación, entonces asumo que voy a hacer una oración afirmativa. We are watching TV. Agregué lo que faltaba, el verbo to be, y luego conjugué este con ing. We are watching TV. Ok, en lo que sigue dice, your classmate study, y tengo signo de pregunta. Entonces, ¿cómo voy a completar acá? Tengo que hacer una pregunta basándome en eso. You are, are you class? Are, are you, are you class? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? You. 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 Esto completito es. Este es un me. possessive. Acuérdese que esto no es pronombre personal. El pronombre personal no lleva R. Entonces el sujeto es tú, tu compañero o tu compañera de clase. Está en singular. Is your classmate? Is, excelente. Is your classmate Study. studying? Uh -huh. Is your classmate studying? Yes, he? Yes, he is. Is, uh -huh. yes, he is. Uh -huh. Así van a ir haciendo las otras. Ahí las pueden ir haciendo en su cuaderno. Ok. Thank you. 
Finish. Finish. Okay, do you have finished? What about the rest? Have you finished? Okay, um, let us check your work then. Okay, a volunteer for number three. Yo. Okay, Rafael. Uh, Steven is making dinner. Steven is making dinner. Yes, that's correct. Excellent. Number four, volunteer. Volunteer for number four. Um, ¿Puedo Why? hacerlo yo? Sí, porque yo creo que no. Yo, eh, no, yo, es que yo no, no la encontré mucho, pero no sé si la pregunta es como, why are you thou? Why are you? El verbo es laugh. Laugh wow. es reírse ah, a carcajada, ah, reírse, laugh. Ajá, es, es, ¿Por qué estás riendo algo así, verdad? Ajá, sí. why are you? What, why are you thou? ¿Y el ING en el verbo? La, es que no sé, laugh. Laughing, yes, laughing. Eso suena como F al final, laughing. Ahí se le quita la H, ¿verdad? No. Ah, Solo ah. se le agrega el, el ING. El ING. Ajá. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Okay, very good. Good try. Why are you laughing? Y en la answer? respuesta. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Cuando la pregunta es why, sí. se responde oh, oh. con... Ah, no, porque es porque está riendo, ¿verdad? I am uh -huh. reading uh -huh. a funny book. I am... Mm -hmm. I am uh, reading, reading a, a funny book. Pero le falta algo. Cuando la pregunta vaya con este why, ¿por qué te estás riendo? Why are you laughing? Ah, uh, because... Because, ex exacto. Siempre la pregunta, en la respuesta vamos a poner because. Because, ¿cómo sería la respuesta entonces? Because I am reading a funny book. Excellent. Because I am reading a funny book. Well, uh, number five. Volunteer. Ah, eso sí está yuca. ¿Lo puedo hacer yo? Sí. Bueno, me corrige ahí. A ver si, si le pegamos. Es una Dice, oración afirmativa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, una oración afirmativa. Uh -huh. Ah, pues. 
Empezamos la oración con el sujeto. ¿Cuál es el sí, sujeto? Yo, lo, yo lo hice una pregunta. Me equivoqué oh, entonces. Okay. Sí, no, Ajá. no. No hay signo acá de pregunta. Entonces empezamos. Again. The children. They, they are. are the, the children. The children are, 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 playing are playing a game. A game. A game. Ajá. Uh -huh. The children are playing a mm -hmm. game. Playing game. The children, uh -huh. children are children playing are game. playing a game. Uh -huh. The children are playing a game. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Uh, it's rain. It's raining now. It's. It's, no, it, it raining it now. is raining now. No, uh -huh. it, it is raining now. It no. is raining now. Excellent. Seven is a question. Uh, are they eating lunch? Are they eating lunch? Uh huh. No, are they, they eating are lunch? not. No, they aren't. No, they, no, they are, are not. not. Oh, no, they aren't. Okay, uh -huh. very good. Now, number eight, word sing, affirmative statement. Um, they are beer singing. No, the beer. Oh, no. Uh, but yo lo puse así, dice, yo lo puse así, the birds it's singing. Okay, por ahí va, solo que okay. birds está en plural. Ah, por eso yeah. yo lo puse. The birds are, are singing. Are they the birds are singing. The birds are singing. Yes, the uh, birds are singing. Yes. No, uh, sí. no, porque está en plural. No. Sí, en plural. They, uh -huh. mm -hmm. The birds are singing. Are, And number are singing. nine, number nine. Uh, I am, I am doing, doing my homework. Doing my homework. I am doing my homework. Mm -hmm. I am doing my homework. Next. I'm doing my homework. Now, next, uh, la próxima es oración he, afirmativa. He, he, he is not sleeping. He is not sleeping. sleeping. Uh -huh. He is not sleeping. Number 11. Uh, my friend and I are talking. My friend and I are talking. Yes. And finally, number 12. Uh, John is not swimming, not swimming at the beach. At the beach. Uh -huh. John is not swimming at the beach. the beach. Very good. Good job. Okay. Esto luego se los mando también este documento para que sigan por ahí repasando. Y vamos a seguir practicando acá, pero creo que no miran más que lo mismo a donde estaba. Aquí estoy. Ok, vamos a compartir la pantalla para seguir practicando. Present continuous. Compartir. Okay, we have a conversation here. Can you read the topic of the conversation? The topic is what time is it there? What time is it there? Uh huh. What time is it there? What time is it there? What time is it there? Uh-huh. What time is it there? Can you repeat one what, more time? What time, what time is, is there? there? What time is there? What, the, what time is it there? ¿Qué hora es ahí? What time is it there? What time is it there? What time is it there? Okay, we're going to listen the conversation and then we're going to practice it. As you can see, um, you can see the conversation. The lady is, well, she is sleeping or she was sleeping in the past. What time she is was it? Sleeping. 
And that, that man looks that like thing. he's going to work or something like that, right? Okay, let's listen what's going on there. Page 30, exercise two, conversation. What time is it there? Listen what time is there? And practice. Listen and practice. Hello. Hi, Debbie. Hello. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay, I'm awake now. Okay, that's a conversation. Do you have any question about the vocabulary? Awake. Right. Awake, despierto or despierta, awake. Uh -huh. Wait. I'm awake now. I'm awake now. Uh -huh. Any other question? No. No more questions. No. no. Okay. Let's practice together. Let's repeat. Hello. 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 Hi, David. This is Jen. I'm calling from Hi. Australia. Hi, David. Hi, David. This is Hi, David. Jen. 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 From Jen. Australia. I'm calling from Australia. 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 I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? I'm at a conference in Sydney. I'm at a conference in Sydney. I am a conference. Remember? Remember? All right. What time All right. is it there? What time All right. Is there? What time All right. Is what time is there? It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? It's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock yes. in the morning. Just four yes, four o'clock in, in the morning. Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Four a.m. Oh, four I'm really sorry. Oh, oh, I'm oh, really, really sorry. sorry. That's okay. I'm awake That's now. Good. That's, That's okay. okay. That's I am okay. I'm awake now. <clears throat> okay. Volunteers to practice. Remember that intonation is important. Es importante que vayan entonando las preguntas, por ejemplo. Okay. Voluntarios o practicamos otra vez. Otra vez practiqué. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's repeat. Hello. 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 Hi, David. This is John. Hi, Hi David. David. This is John. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. I'm, I'm calling from Australia. 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 I'm in a conference in Sydney. Remember? Right. I, I am in a conference in Sydney. Sydney. Remember? remember? All right, what time is it there? All right, All right. All right. what time is it there? It's, there. it's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. And it's 10 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? And it's 4 o'clock in Los Angeles, right? 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 Yes, 4 o'clock yes. in the morning. Yes, 4 yes. o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. Oh, oh I'm really sorry. sorry. That's okay. I'm awake That's now. Okay. That's okay. I'm awake now. No. Okay, volunteers to practice. Uh, disculpe, ¿cómo se pronuncia el, el nombre de ella? Uh, Debbie. 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 La pronunciación. Yeah. I am away, así es. I am. I'm awake. I'm away. Así I'm, awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. Excellent. I'm awake now. I'm awake, I'm now. awake now. Excellent. There you go. I'm awake I'm now. Awake. And here is Sydney. 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 Yes. 
Sydney. 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 I am a comfort. Am. Eso es como am. Am, am. am awake now. No, pero en John, John dice, I am a conference. I'm I'm a the, conference. Uh, so, conference. Classic is, I'm at the conference in Sydney. I'm at the conference in Sydney. I'm at the conference in Sydney. Uh-huh. I'm at the conference. I'm at the conference. I'm at the conference in Sydney. I'm at a conference in the Sydney. I'm at a conference in Sydney. I'm at a conference. Yes, you get it. I'm at a conference in Sydney. I'm at a conference in Sydney. In Sydney. Yes, you get it. Any other question? No. No more questions. Okay. Okay, so we can practice. Volunteers? Yo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Rafael and Beatriz. You can start, Beatriz. Hello. Hi, baby. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is, is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Uh, four a.m. Four a.m. Uh, four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm a way big. I'm awake. I'm awake. Yes, that's okay. I am. I'm, <coughs> I'm awake. Mm -hmm. I'm awake now. Excellent. I'm awake now. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you so much for your participation. Another two volunteers? Yo. Sofia and Alejandro. Yeah. Okay, Sofia and Alejandro. Hello. Hi, David. This is John. I am Tanya. From Australia. Australia? I am at conference in Sydney, remember? All oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. There, there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. or Oh, I am really sorry. That's, a, that's okay. I'm uh, away now. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Thank you so much. Another two? Another two volunteer? Who is it there? Another two volunteers? No veo las manitas. Oh. Ahí puedo hacerlo otra vez con alguien. Yo. Janet. ¿Quién dice yo? Ah, Janet y Araceli. Veo acá que levantaron la manita. Janet y Araceli. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, baby. This is Judge. This is Joe. I'm calling from Australia. Australia. I am not confident in Sunday. Remember? All right. What is the there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock. They they in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4, 4 a.m. Um, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm working now. Now, okay, no. excellent. Just remember, awake. Uh -huh. Very nice. Nice job. Thank you for your participation. Do I have another two volunteers? Another two. 
No more? No more volunteers? We can move to another thing. Okay, the time. As you see in this uh, conversation, they are asking for the time. Están preguntando por la hora, qué es lo que están haciendo en ese momento. So we're going to continue in this topic and we're going to study how to tell the time in English. Well, there are many, oh, like three ways to say the time in English. I'm going to share a presentation with you about the most common ways to say the time. Okay, this is the time telling the time in English. How to say the time in English? Okay, telling diciendo. Diciendo. <laughs> uh, tell es, es tell es decir, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Ahora, uh -huh. vamos a estar practicando diciendo la hora. <laughs> ok. Um, aquí, aquí como pueden ver hay un reloj que está dividido en dos partes, por decirlo así. La parte verde y la parte roja. En la parte verde, en toda esa sección del reloj, se utiliza la expresión past. Ok. Past. Un equivalente que también se puede usar es la expresión after. ¿Qué significa after? La preposición after. Después. 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 So, se puede usar después. Past o after. Cualquiera de los dos. Ok, y to es como decir para, en esta sección roja, ok. De aquí para allá podemos utilizar past o after. Y de acá para acá podemos usar to. Okay, veamos. Por ejemplo, acá diríamos five past. Cinco minutos, ¿verdad? Cinco. Aquí vamos de 5 al 5, ¿verdad? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, igual que en español. 5 past. Ok. 10 past. A quarter past. 20 past. 25 past. Y la última dice half past. Half past. Ajá, en esta sección, primero mencionamos los minutos que han pasado y luego la hora. Por ejemplo, si fuera la una y cinco, yo tendría que decir, it's, it's one. five past one. Son cinco después de la una. Five past one. Y así sucesivamente vamos, 10 past. Si fueran las 2 y 10, entonces diría. ¿Cómo diría? Past two. It's 10 past 2. Ajá. Ya no si, fueran se las, si fueran las 5 y 25, ¿cómo diría? Mm. 25. 25. 25. 25. Pass. 25. Pass. 25. Yes, 20. Ya no se usa PM, no hay AM. Eh, sí se puede, siempre se usa. Hasta lo que sí está más complicado ahorita. Uh -huh. Sí, vamos a ir por partes. Ah. Ok, hasta aquí ya llegamos a la mitad, ¿verdad? Cuando es media hora después de, vamos a decir, half past. Ajá. So, si fueran las 2.30, it's half past two. 2.30, half past two. Y le puede agregar in the afternoon. Son las dos y media de la tarde. It's half past two in the afternoon. Oh, it's half past two. Okay, 
La, in the other part, aquí en esta otra parte, en la parte roja, vamos a empezar a decir to. ¿Qué es lo que en español sería el equivalente a decir para? Twenty five to sería como decir 25 para. Si yo quiero decir que faltan 25 para las 4, ¿cómo lo diría? 25 to 4. Ajá, it's 25 to 4, 25 a las 4. Excelente, ahí vamos a empezar a decir to para. Ok, 22 es 20 para. It's 22. Si fueran 20 para las 6. It's 22. It's 22. 22. 6. 22. 6. Luego, si son 15, puede decir 15 to o a quarter to, un cuarto para. A quarter to. A quarter to. A quarter to. A quarter to. Six. And two. Five to. Five to. Y la última. Okay. Oh, o clock solo lo vamos a utilizar cuando estemos hablando de la hora redonda, sin minutos. ¿Ok? En punto. O clock. It's one o'clock. It's two o'clock. Three o'clock. So, horas redondas. Questions so far? ¿Hay, hay preguntas hasta acá? No. No questions. It's es cuando estamos diciendo la hora. Ajá, it's. Uh -huh. It's y la hora. Uh -huh. What's the time? For example, if they ask you, si le preguntan, ¿cuál es la hora? Huh? What's the time? O pueden preguntar, what time is it? Como estaba en la conversación, ¿verdad? What time is it? Here, for example, aquí por ejemplo vamos a decir es la una en punto. Uh -huh. Ok, es la una en punto. It's one o'clock. La, la, la aguja pequeña es la que señala la hora, ¿verdad? Y la grande son los minutos, o no han pasado ningún minuto aquí. It's one o'clock. Ok. What's the time, Rafael? What's the time, Rafael? Ahí pueden habilitar su micrófono. Ok. Um. It's, uh, it's 10 to it's nine. It's nine. Nah, five. It's nine. five past five. Primero los minutos. Five. Five past nine. Five past nine. Uh -huh. Y decimos mm. it's. It's five it's past. It's five past nine. Uh -huh. Five it's past nine. Sí. Yes. Le vamos va a dar otra vez? oportunidad a Rafael. Esta sí, sí nos cuesta en español aprendernos la hora, ya no digamos en inglés, o no se abatan. Ok, another opportunity, Rafael, what's the time? No, hubiera puesto más seguidito, muy perdido me puse. Uh, it's ten past six. It's ten past six. Ok, there you go. Sofía. Ay. What's the time? <laughs> What's the um, time? Uh, it's seven. It's seven. Square. Uh, square. Pass. No. It's okay. quarter past seven. Ah, el contrario. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. Primero se dicen los minutos y después la hora. Uh -huh. It's a quarter past It's seven. It's a quarter past ten. Past seven. Okay. Uh, what's the time? It's twenty past two. 
Veamos. It's 20 past two. Ya se encontró Rafael que dijo que andaba perdido. Sí, pero es que eso, okay. eso es bien importante lo que usted dice, que en esta parte van primero los minutos. Sí, en, en ambas partes. En, sí, ambas, en ambas partes, partes. Pero, Solo que acá pero primero... Acá, es, acá decimos es, past. Past. Y acá y decimos tú. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That's it. Esa es la clave. Ok, seguimos. Alejandro, what's the time? It's five. It's twenty 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 Vamos a tener que dibujar algo así, con esos colores. Yeah. What's the time, a volunteer, Sofía? What's the time? Ay. X quarter. No, quarter son los quince. It's half past. Ay, me confundí. Three, half past. Three. Half past three. Half past three. Ajá, three. son las tres y media. Half past three. Half past, half past three. three. Mm -hmm. Ok, ahora, another volunteer. Uh, Rocío, what's the time? Um, there. In... X at twenty five to eleven. Uh, eight. It's twenty five to eight. I see eight. Uh -huh. Excellent. It's twenty five to eight. Janet, what's the time, Janet? It's twenty. It's twenty two. Twenty. I don't know. Twenty to six. Six. Veamos. It's twenty to six. Yes. Twenty to six. What's the time? It's a quarter. It's a quarter. Two. It's a quarter. Five. 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 Yes, five. it's a quarter to five. five. Very quarter good. To five. Okay, uh, next. Alejandro, what's the time? Ten. It's, it's, it's ten. Eleven. It's ten. Twelve. Twelve. No, it's ten. No. Ten, ten to twelve. Twelve. It's ten to twelve. It's 10 to 12. Okay, Carla, what's the time? Five. Okay. What's the time? What is the correct option? It's 35 to 2. 35 to 2? What time is what is the time, William? 25 to 3. 25. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 25 to 3. Mm -hmm. Another volunteer here. What's the time? It's five to three. Five to three. Five to two. Okay. Yes. Next. <laughs> Twenty to four. Twenty to four. No. No, no, no. Twenty to five. No, it's twenty to five. Okay. Twenty to five. <laughs> <laughs> Ten to eleven. Ten to eleven. Eleven. Ten to okay. eleven. Eleven. 
A veces sí, a veces no. <risa> Como la canción. Sí, <risa> A quarter to seven. A quarter to seven. Okay. Yes. All right. So we finished with the time. So esas um, un par de formas de decir la hora. Eso se los voy a mandar a, a su WhatsApp por si lo quieren descargar, seguirlo practicando, revisarlo. Igual lo pueden revisar en el teléfono siempre y cuando tengan eh, para reproducir ah, yeah. presentaciones de PowerPoint. Se lo voy a mandar ahorita que terminemos la clase. Ya solo nos quedan dos clases más. La de mañana y pasado. Si hay algún tema que ustedes quieran repasar, le vamos a seguir al tiempo mañana. Porque ya medio le agarraron. Bueno, yo diría bastante. Uh -huh. hey. Mañana vamos a practicar más con, con el, lo de la hora. Y bueno... Ahí vamos. Si, si encuentran algún tema que, que quisieran que repasemos, me dicen mañana para hacer un repaso el jueves. ¿Ok? That's ok. okay. Do you have okay. any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? No. No questions. Ok. Traten de completar la plataforma para que no vayan a tener inconvenientes. Y la documentación también. Recuerden que ya tienen que haberla enviado. No more questions? No. If no questions, no. so see you no tomorrow. Questions. Thank you for joining the section and sleep well. Thank you, uh, thank, you. thank you. Okay. Good bye night. bye. Take care. Good, Good night. night. Good night.